Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. It literally takes but two seconds and it helps me out so, so much. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button before we get on to the rest of the video. All right, so today's video is gonna be something a little different than I've ever done. Really, yeah. It's kind of different than I've ever done, to be honest. But basically, I'm going to be doing an anti-haul. Basically, what an anti-haul is, is influencers talk about products that are out or coming out that they will not be purchasing. Yes. Will not be purchasing. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I have a list of products that I will not be purchasing this year. Um, and I'm going to be explaining why I will not be purchasing them. A lot of them, it's going to be... You'll know why after I explain it. <laughs> but yeah, so I figured that this would be a great video to get done. That the holidays are coming up and everybody's buying Christmas gifts. I figured why not talk about some products that I'm not going to be buying. Why I'm not going to be buying them. And maybe it'll give you a little change of mind to not buy them. Or, hey, maybe you still want them. I don't really know. Um, but I'm just trying to help some people save some coin. Because that's what I'm going to be doing by not buying them. And quick disclaimer before we get on to the rest of the video. In any way, shape, or form, I'm not trying to bash these brands um, because I love all of these brands that I'm gonna be talking about. I just, personally, these products are not a hit for me and I can definitely live without them. So yeah, I'm not trying to bash these brands anyways, but I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to tell you guys how I'm gonna be saving my money and how you possibly could too. So with that being said, let's just get on to the rest of the video. I literally have like a list of products and notes on my notes. So if you see me looking at something, that's what I'm looking at. <laughs> All right, so these first two products aren't anything new, but they've just kind of been out on the beauty market and I'm not here for them, to be honest, I'm not. All right, so the first product I'm gonna be talking about is the Cody Airspun Translucent Powder. Um, I know that a lot of people like this powder because it's like a very cheap alternative to any other expensive translucent powder. Um, I believe it comes in three different shades. There's like a translucent one and then there's two other ones that have different like names I guess for like the color of them even though they're all translucent powders. Um, I know that a lot of people love this translucent powder however I don't. Um, I've heard 50-50 that it gives flashback and that it doesn't but I'm not gonna chance it. Um, I actually have purchased this powder before and another reason why I never will again is because of the smell of it. It's literally when I open it like I have instant headache. I cannot deal with the smell of it. Um, I know that it doesn't bother a lot of people but it doesn't take much for me to get a headache or a migraine so I'm not even going to chance it. Um, it. To me it smells like crushed up Smarties. Literally like just whiff crushed up Smarties. So, which is weird because I like Smarties, but I don't want to smell it and I don't want it around on my face, you know? You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I don't want to do that. All right, this next product. I really don't know how it got put onto shelves, to be honest. Um, more so Sephora, like. But anyways, this next product. Yep, the Evian Setting Spray, Refresher Spray. I don't really know. Um... You are not going to catch me spending my money on a refreshing or setting spray. I believe it claims to be a setting spray, but it's not. It's just like a refresher. Um, yeah, no. If you check the ingredients, literally all that that spray is, is water. Water. I'm not spending my money on a can of water. I could buy literally a dollar water bottle and spray it, fill it with water and spray my face with that if that's what I wanted if I wanted to spray my face with water but I don't so that one's canceled all right so this next one might come as a bit of a shock to some people because I know that a lot of people rave about this and they love it but however I don't so I'm not spending my money on it simple as that and this is the yeah, that's the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. I don't know if that's disappointing. I know that's disappointing to some of you guys because I know, I know some of you guys use it. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. Um, I just cannot stand the smell of it. I think it smells gross, to be honest. Like, 
I know it's supposed to smell like coconuts, and I like the smell of coconut. I like, I love me some coconut. But, oh, I don't know. I just, I don't like the smell of it. And I guess smell is like a big thing for me. I don't really know because... I don't know. I don't want something on my face that I don't like the way it smells because clearly, especially like with it being around my nose and like my mouth, like I'm gonna smell it. So I guess I don't want to smell something that I don't like the smell of. I mean, clearly, who would? <clears throat> I've never purchased this product before, like of act the actual product itself, but I did get like a little mini sample and for with points that I had at Sephora that I racked up. It was like 100 points, I believe. So I was like, let me try it. Let me see all the hype. Yeah, no, I could not stand the smell of it. So that one's canceled. This next one. If you like her, I'm sorry. I love her as well. But when I saw that this was her first product, I was honestly kind of very disappointed. The Laura Lee Los Angeles cat pajamas, cat's pajamas palette. I don't need another basic palette in my life. I'm sorry, I just don't. I have plenty of eyeshadow palettes and that is just not one that I'm gonna spend $40 on. $40. I can get a Morphe palette that has 35 shadows in it for like $22. And I'm not going to pay for an eyeshadow palette that has 10 colors in it. 10 colors that I already have. It says that it comes with a, one semi-matte slash satin color. Um, and then it comes with five mattes and four shimmers. Five mattes is good like to have find your transition colors, you know, or just do any look, basically. And four shimmers is a good amount I guess I mean considering that's almost half the palette um I don't know just I love you Laura Lee but I'm not spending $40 on that palette it's cute like the it's it has like flowers on the inside which I'm all about because I love flowers and the outside is glittery and that's super cute too because I like glitter um but the palette itself I'm sorry but I'm not spending $40 on it I have more than enough eyeshadow palettes or, or single shadows like I just don't need it. I hope I, I hope I like your next product. Sorry, just not spending my money on this one. And this next pal palette. Okay, well I was gonna say the next thing, but I just said palette, so yep, it's palette. This one I will also not be spending my money on. Yep, that's the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill collaboration. But before you like freak out and you're like, wait, you've used that palette, wait, you like that palette? Yes, I do, but by meaning that I'm not spending my money on this palette is that they, for those of you who don't know, they redid this palette. Basically, this palette went out and it was out for a good solid three months and then they said, oh hey, we're redoing the packaging. I didn't get the palette until right before they did the repackaging. So yeah, it was kind of a little frustrating to see that they redid this palette, but at the same time, they redid it a better way because the original packaging is like cardboard basically. The new one, it's laminated. The original palette, it gets dirty so fast. Yeah, you can wipe it off, but honestly, it's never gonna stay as clean as the new glossy one is gonna stay, and I can tell you that for a fact. Also, another thing that they did with the new palette is they put the names on the back of the palette. All right, so this is what the palette looks like. Um, in camera, you cannot tell how dirty my palette is specifically, but my palette is you can't tell how dirty it is, but it's filthy. And like you open it up and it's the same thing. Um, inside it comes with the little like plastic protector. I always keep these just cause I don't want the whole thing to get dirty. Um, and it also comes with her card and all the shades on the back. What they did with the new palette is they decided to make it glossy so it's easier to clean and put the names of these shadows on the why they didn't do that from the beginning, I don't know, but I wish that they did. I love the palette itself. Yeah, so there's just no need to rebuy that palette. Um, if I buy another in the future, because for some reason I hit pan on like all the colors or something, yeah, I'll, I'll buy it again because I love that palette. Honestly, that is like my everyday palette, but I will just I will not be repurchasing just to get the glossy one. There's no point. Alrighty, the next thing I'm going to be talking about is. This is a 
palette that BH, I believe, has already came out with. Um, it's a Zodiac palette. And if you know anything about astrology and the Zodiacs, um, a lot of this stuff is not right. <laughs> a lot of the colors just don't go. I really think that since, you know, astrology is becoming like a more popular thing and people are actually looking more into it that BH was just like, you know what? Let's just make an astrology palette, not even research anything. Let's just put some cute little colors um, together, name them, call it a day. It's only $20, so honestly, it's not ex it's very inexpensive. And BH does have good shadows. If the palette has good pigmentation, I don't know. But it's $20, so I mean, it's got 12 baked shimmers, 12 buttery mattes, and in the middle, it has a baked highlighter in the center of it. I really honestly doubt that that highlighter is universal, but I don't know. Anyways, the palette's $20. I just don't think that the colors really match up. I don't really think they researched any of the astrology or anything like that, so I will not be buying that. The idea and the concept is cute. Maybe if they rethought it out more, I would because I'm definitely into all of that. I just, because it, yeah, I'm just not buying it. This next one, I'm honestly kind of like, eh. I don't want to say I'm not going to buy anything. I just, I don't have a job right now. So I'm just like, yeah, no. Um, this next one. The Gigi Hadid and Maybelline collaboration. Um, I went into Ulta the other day because I've really been looking forward to this collaboration. And, and there's like influencers that got us got us into them in PR, so like they've seen everything before and they've like previewed everything on their Snapchat or done tutorials, whatever. Um, I thought the idea of like the little travel set was cute, but then when you look at it, like I don't like like pressed concealers like that. And there's concealers in there and the bronzer. I'm just like I already know it's not gonna work for me. And the blush. I like very subtle blush and that one's like, so yeah. How pigmented it is, I don't know, it's Maybelline. I've never had Maybelline blushes. Um, we have little travel sets, cute. The little eyeshadow things, they're like super tiny and I believe they're like 17 bucks. I don't know. I was gonna get the gel eyeliner because I saw somebody like preview it and do it on Snapchat or a video or whatever. And it looked so creamy and it just glided on, but it was like 11 bucks and I was like, Alrighty, and this next one, not necessarily, you know what, I'm just going to show you. For those of you who like him and support him, I'm sorry. I don't. I just don't. Um, I will not be buying, I have not, nor will I ever be buying anything from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I was very disappointed whenever him and Manny came out with their collaboration because I love Manny, but I do not support Jeffrey. Um, for those of you who don't know or who don't actually like know him, I guess, and just kind of buy his products because you hear that they're good products, um, Jeffree Star is racist. He has an ugly personality. His attitude, I'm just not about it. He's just, he, obviously, obviously he has the money he's very high maintenance but he's one of those people that flashes the fact that he has money like if you've ever seen any of his videos or even if you don't watch him but they pop up in your suggested he literally has a video where he is cutting a louis vuitton bag in half down the middle or it was a chanel bag either way like crazy expensive bag and he's just cutting it down the middle and then he takes there's another video where he has louis vuitton lipsticks or something I don't know and he's like melting them burning them cutting them I don't know just it's stuff like that and it's just like dude we get it you have money and then I don't know I just, he's just one of those people that thinks he's better than everybody and I'm not about that um he's just a bully and he's racist and also not about that so that is why I do not support Jeffree Star nor his cosmetics line Oop. Sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> so this next one, honestly, I wanted to like it so bad. It's this one, the Fenty Beauty Holiday Eyeshadow Palette. It's literally a palette full of shimmers. I guess they were, like, I get they were going for the whole celestial look and vision, whatever, but I don't need a palette 
full of shimmers. $59 for a palette that has 14 like shimmery eyeshadows? Like, I know even if I bought this palette, I'm only gonna use like two, maybe three shadows from this palette, so I just, that's not something that I wanna spend my money on. The packaging is beautiful. It's like this rainbow-ish, like holographic kind of packaging, but I'm not spending $60 on a palette full of shimmers. I love you, Riri. I love you so much, but I'm not gonna do it. Sorry, nope, can't do that one. Another palette, there I go again, telling you what it is before I even show you. The Morphe 9A palette. This is a, like, it's like a square eyeshadow palette that has nine shades in it. It's A for always golden. I feel like it's just kind of like a bigger version of the 35O, but with way less shades. And I don't need another neutral palette. I just, I don't. Does anybody really? And next. Next is the Too Faced White Chocolate Bar. Um, I already have two, three eyeshadow palettes from Too Faced. I have the original, the Chocolate Bar, the Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar, and the Sweet Peach Palette. Um, I believe the Chocolate Bar was my first like palette to begin with. But anyways, this palette, it's it's cute. Like I get the idea how they've changed all the different like looks and like names and smells. Um, and I get the white chocolate is a cute idea, but the colors in it, I really don't think that you can create a look using just that single palette. And to me, if you can't create a look using just one palette, I don't really think it's worth it. Will not be buying that one. Don't really need to go into too much detail over that. Love you Too Faced. Love the way your palettes smell, but will not be buying this one and adding this one to my collection. Alrighty, so this last one. Last one is the new Tarte palette they just came out with, which is the Tartlet Toasted Eyeshadow Palette. I've bought an eyeshadow palette from Tarte before. It was like the holiday one, not last year, but the year before, and honestly, the pigments just, the colors literally just turned into mud. I didn't like it, I returned it. I tried to use it, I tried to like save it and try to reuse it again, try a different look. Nope, that was canceled, I took it back. <laughs> this one, it's like a palette full of 12 shadows. It's got some mattes and some shimmers. It's pretty, it's, it's a nice like warm neutral palette. But again, I don't need another neutral palette. Maybe if you're a beginner and you're just getting into makeup and you need a new palette, maybe. But then again, it's $46, and it's got 12 shadows. Honestly, if you're a beginner, I suggest the Morphe 35O, 35O2. Those are just great palettes that I strongly believe in. So, will not be spending my money on that. It's cute, but I'm just not a fan of Tarte shadows that I've experienced so far. I <laughs> hope that after watching this video that you guys can decide for yourself if you would still like to go purchase these products or save your money. I'm all about saving that coin. I'm a broke college student on a budget. I know. I know, boo-boo. I know. So before you leave, do not forget that you can follow me on all my other social medias, which is Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. And those are gonna be in the description box down below. Also, I will link the video to this look right here that I just filmed as well. So that will be also linked down below in the description box if you would like to see how I got this look. And if you would like to see more from me, hit the subscribe button down below. And yeah, let me know in the comments if y'all like this kind of video. I like doing this, so I hope that y'all liked it. So until next time, guys. <laughs> Bye, my loves.